Pelvic organ prolapse is when the ligaments and muscles supporting the pelvic organs start to weaken. Um, it allows the pelvic organs to start to drift downwards. So the two main factors that can cause pelvic organ prolapse are having had children and then also just aging. Sort of as you age, the tissues start to weaken, especially after you go through menopause and there's the loss of estrogen. Not every woman experiences pelvic organ prolapse, but a, a large number do. Up to 50% of women will um, experience pelvic organ prolapse by the time they go through menopause. And for many women, it's not um, something that's noticeable or bothersome, um, but up to one in nine women will go will undergo surgery to repair pelvic organ prolapse in their lifetime. So the main signs of pelvic organ prolapse are feeling a bulge, feeling like there's pressure in the vagina, um, feeling the feeling like a tampon is stuck or a tampon's falling out. Um, some women start to feel like they're having trouble emptying their bowels or bladder or need to push in the vagina to completely empty their um, bowels or bladder. Many women after they've had a, their first delivery will have some degree of prolapse. There's no real um, early signs or symptoms. It's just when it starts to become bothersome and you feel that sort of bulge that we have you come in and sort of we can evaluate. There's a wide variety of treatment options for pelvic organ prolapse. For many women, um, there's nothing we need to do. Um, it's not dangerous, which is sort of one of the first things we talk about when you come in for your evaluation. Um, it's just how much it's bothering you for most women. Um, physical therapy can be a good option for many women. A pessary, which is a silicone ring that goes into the vagina, can help um, hold the prolapse up and take away the symptoms. Prolapse, it's often related to the trauma from childbirth. There's not a whole lot to do to prevent it. For some women, going into physical therapy after childbirth can help sort of restore the, the strength in the pelvic floor and sort of avoiding things that cause um, pressure on the pelvic floor. So straining for bowel movements frequently can put a lot of pressure down on the pelvic floor and worsen prolapse. Um, extreme heavy lifting um, can sometimes worsen prolapse. And then things like um, smoking and chronic cough can also um, increase your risk for developing prolapse.